You're watching News 24 Live. Heineken Mayer has quit from his role as the head coach of the Springboks. Sari will now begin the recruitment process immediately to find a successor. To discuss this a bit further, we're joined in studio by our resident rugby analyst, Rob Howing from Sport24. Rob, thank you very much for coming in this afternoon on such short notice. It's been a big news day, obviously, with the Oscar Pistorius uh, ruling as well, which is possibly overshadowing uh, Hanukkah Mayer's news somewhat. I don't know if that was a strategic thing. Possibly, Nick. You know, uh, it's, it does happen in, in politics. And of course, the rugby coach of South Africa is a political appointment in certain respects. So you could say that perhaps uh, he chose to sort of go the undercover route um, while the rest of the country was sort of, uh, you know, their minds were elsewhere. Um, under the radar came Heine Kamea, um, indicating that he was no longer going to be in contention for, for the, the, the post in the future. Um, didn't surprise me too greatly. Um, I'd had wind for a couple of days and in fact wrote as much on Sport24 yes. that um, he, was, he was not going to be at the ballot box, as they say, for, for the end of the year. So that in other words, we would only be looking at a new coach and, and no possibility of the, the incumbent uh, being um, you know, still in contention. Um, in a nutshell, you know, I, I think he realized that um, his days had, had gone. I think there were enough sort of, um, there was enough information out there to him to know that uh, uh, enough sentiment had turned against him for it to be futile for him to, to carry on. And he actually, you know, in, in a sense, did the honorable thing um, by sort of stepping on his own sword, as it were, um, you know, before, nominally before the end of his contract. Although, of course, he didn't have any further international obligations until the end of December anyway. Um, but Rob, so sorry to interject, but the, the sentiment against him, would, would he have sort of uh, picked it up mainly from the media and the public or because it sounds like within the sort of uh, sorry structures he did have quite a lot of support yeah i think uh, he would have probably picked it up from from, from all of those sources, uh, frankly. Um, I think within the, the Saru corridors, um, there has been a, a definite shift uh, towards somebody like Alistair Kutsia in the last few days and weeks. That's the sense I'm getting. Um, I think a lot of people uh, of authority are quite well disposed to the idea of bringing back Alistair Kutsia from Japan. Um, it's something that, that uh, had always been speculated upon. At the moment, um, uh, Alistair Kutsia went to the, uh, to the Steelers in, in Japan. The feeling was it would only be a matter of time before before eventually he was he was called back as as head coach of, of South Africa um, so uh, you know no, not too much of a surprise there and I think Mayer probably put sort of uh, you know two and two together and just realized that uh, you know the the tide the tide had turned against him and it was sadly uh, of his own making because really um, I thought the last three matches of the World Cup were quite a, a sad indictment of the way he'd sort of lost he would got cold feet, I think is the best way to describe yeah. it. Um, at one stage, I, I really thought that he was the answer uh, uh, for taking the Springboks to a sort of brave, bright new future. Um, he was, he was uh, bringing in lots of quite uh, um, interesting uh, personnel and strategies. Um, and the box uh, in his time, if you look back at the, the videos uh, from 2012, you'll see a lot of games that the Springboks played some pretty nifty rugby in. Um, and we've got to give him some credit for that. And his only dodgy track record, unfortunately, was against New Zealand. Um, and of course, they're in the midst the of a sort of in a, a golden era, though. Yeah. So you've got to take that yeah. into account, too. Um, but they also played some very good rugby against New Zealand while just showing a little bit of sort of naivety and, mm. and that inability in the last 20 minutes to sort of be able to close out games against New Zealand, which also irked a few of the, the Springbok, diehard Springbok fans, I guess. So a very mixed sort of um, a legacy, really, uh, is, is what, he will, what he will leave.